Success, they say, starts at the top, and WGN has had a series of visionary leaders in charge of the station. We'd have to concentrate on local public affairs and local programming. Because these viewers expect a lot from WGN. Decide that you're going to become that trailblazer that they need in, in life. So we created Family Classics, which played every Friday night. WGN is nighttime programming. WGN is Chicago. That was a tremendous change in, in what we could do. And the friendship that John, Holly. Other stations to want to steal them away. WGN was more, it was family. The faces of WGN News have been among the most trusted in the city for 75 years. This is Bob Foster, WGN News, Washington. Larry Roderick, WGN News, Washington. Don Harris, WGN News, reporting from Midway Airport. Steve Schickel, reporting for News 9 from Springfield. How they got where they are. Joanne Williams, News 9. This is Frank Rios, reporting for WGN News. Hopefully, someday, she'll resemble the ship that she was in the days of her pride and glory. This afternoon, I questioned some of the uptown residents about the forthcoming election. Dave Andre, Channel 9 News, at the O'Hare Air Force Base. This is John Adams, WGN News, at the Navy Marine Training Center in Forest Park. This is John Hogan for News 9 in Shoulder Headquarters on West Lawrence Avenue. So we went to the Ogden School for their annual Halloween Day Parade. She's a dedicated student too. She had a perfect attendance record. It could have been much worse had a neighbor not come to the rescue. And I came in as a newscaster and announcer at that time. You could do both. Of course, the most important man, Santa Claus. Has been arrested and charged with the fatal shooting of a 16... When WGN-TV News first read all the air, news... As usual for cameramen to want to cover picture stories. That, of course, is what they do. at the Birdo Center, watch him draw a few things on the chalkboard, and that's it. Appeals Court ruled that the state of Illinois cannot sue other states. That these are desperate times requiring desperate measures. Yet she remains as enthusiastic and... You will still be able to use your current television if you buy a digital converter. It's a large upper air low pressure system that moves around the Arctic Circle. They are just two ambassadors in a room full of ambassadors. Landmark report, so we came to New Mexico. WGN Community Affairs presents Bill Berry and People to People. Our public affairs programs have given voice to important issues often ignored elsewhere. Our law, our owner-occupied dwellings with... Music was a vital part of Channel 9's lineup, and viewers knew they could always tune in for the tunes. WGN danced to its own tune with a playlist of series it syndicated like An Evening With. Oh, it's serial good bet the best is yet to come. <laughs> Go to your and I'm Donald Red Blanchard. Did I tell you about the woman whose hair was so thin she had to wear her, carry her dandruff in her purse? <laughs> because you're mine, I walk the line. And the stars would come to town. They'd be playing a nightclub or they'd play the theater. And WGN's legacy as part of the extended Chicago family is best seen in our commitment to children's education, enlightenment, and entertainment. Bozo Circus is on the air. With Bozo, the world's greatest clown.
Bob Bell as Bozo, Ringmaster Ned Locke, Roy Brown as Cookie the Clown, Ray Rayner as Oliver O. Oliver, Don Sandberg as Sandy the Tramp, Bob Trendler and the Big Top Band, all at a smashing time. And now it floats up and... Do you wear a hairpiece? And I says, yeah. He said, never know it. <laughs> I'd very well be happy to hear for you, buddy. <laughs> parking lot of WGN. Oh, hi there. Bozo T. Clown here. <laughs> How are you going to bake 25 gooey, chewy mulberry pies? Chicago has always turned to Channel 9 to see the city's favorite teams. These are some of the members of the WGN team. Like Vince Lloyd interviewing President John F. Kennedy before a White Sox game. I uh, feel it important that we uh, get a, uh, not be a nation just of spectators, even though that's what we are today, but also a nation of participants. And they trail Milwaukee by six and a half. Let's go courtside now to Johnny Kerr. He's got the Bulls' leading scorer, guard Reggie Theus. John? Okay, Bob, you hit it on the head, Reggie score. Uh, Reggie Theus is leading the team in scoring this year, Reggie. Baseball, to me, is, uh, is almost like, like, like doing a symphony. Way back, it might be, it could be. The Cubs might have the best starting pitching in the Central Division, at least to start this season. People who feel strongly about the stadium, and let's hear from a few of them. After a long wait, it's now official, a 37-year-old. Glad to have you with us for good old Channel 9 Chicago Blackhawks hockey. Way back, you can put it on the board. Final WGN home telecast. Continue to warm up on the floor, getting ready for tip-off tonight, which should come sometime. People Chills, make up it? Channel 9, mm -hmm. you know? Over those long, mm -hmm. many years. Of course, there are so many more people to thank. Photographers, engineers, stagehands, producers, writers, advertising, salespeople, marketing and creative staff members, and of course, administrative employees who have helped make Channel 9 a success for 75 years now. What a staff. And next week on WGN at 75, we're going to celebrate one of the greatest names in Channel 9 history, our very own Tom Skilling. So tune in for that. He'll be up here in a couple of minutes, too. We're going to have special coverage every Thursday night through April on the WGN News at 9. And we have a special section on our website that's devoted to stories about the anniversary. You can read more at WGNTV.com slash 75. All right, next week will be a good one.